And so we changed it over to this arm. And uh, so he went in, he hit the artery. Whew, the blood just went <laughs> flying up in the air. Sure. And came down on me and on the nurse that was standing next to him. Her white uniform was all blood. <laughs> It's getting messy now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and so, so I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what's going to happen here next? And uh, I thought I was going to be asleep by now. <laughs> and so, so he says, gauze, gauze, lots of gauze, girls. And so <laughs> they kept running with gauze and he was sat, soaking it up on the bed and so holding it on my arm to, for pressure. Uh, Finally, they got the artery blocked, and so right after that, thank goodness, he got he hit the vein, and got where he needed to be with this IV. And so he said, "Okay, we have the IV inserted now," and he said, "We'll be putting the uh, anesthetic in there and everything, your solution and everything." Uh, but he said, "Right now, uh, he said uh, they'll get down and capped and so on and." And, uh, and then we'll be ready to go. So, with all this having happened, uh, peace of Christ was still there. I was just as relaxed. I just thought, well, they're having a great time here, aren't they? And so, <laughs> so anyway, uh, he, after he said this to me, I laid this arm across me and I had this one in the, still in the thing. The IV was in there, but nothing coming into it. And I said to myself, not out loud, I said, uh, I'm at peace with all the world. And I'm in you, Lord. Thank you. I wasn't emotional. I, at the time, I was just excited about them having such a time and but I am now emotional about it when I think about it but and so I just close my eyes now I'm really going to get emotional and before I before this happened I noticed that all the nurses and there were I don't know how many eight or so ten maybe because they were all faced around me. I noticed that all of them had dark hair. And I thought, that's unusual. Most, you know, most nurses are, you know, it's a variety. And some have pink and red and everything else, but most of them have dark hair. Most of them have, a lot of them have blonde hair. And I thought, that's unusual. But anyway, neither here nor there. I closed my eyes, laying, you know, in such peace. And all of a sudden, those dark hair people were all standing there, including the tall Miss Dr. Quinn, the anesthetist. But behind them was an angel behind each one, and there. They had something over their head, white, but not any stars or things that you think about on an angel. And these white, white robes and these dark heads against it, but the heads were, most of them only came to about to the angel's waist, but some a little higher. And Dr. Quinn's was his, image on the their robe was um, you know up higher on the angel but most of them as I say their dark heads only came up to the waist but what a sight and the light was coming from that direction and hitting these angels robes and so the fold in their white robe was showing a blue image, blue, two blue images on each angel because of the fold in their robe. 
And so it just looked like they had blue stripes down. And their uh, faces were very blurred. I couldn't tell what their faces looked like, but as I say, there was white on their top, their head. And I wanted to see their faces so bad, but I was so struck with the these white robes and these dark heads all around against those white robes with these blue images down each one. And there was an angel behind every one of them. And um, I just wanted to see their face. I wanted to see their face so bad. And I just, I just said, oh, I want to see their face. And I opened my eyes and it was gone. And was it. Just gone. Can you imagine? Oh my soul. I just, I will never forget that. I said I'm going to, I, I do paint and I'm going to try and capture it on mm -hmm. canvas because it was something else, honestly. People say, oh, I near had an accident. I know I had an angel on my shoulder, all this business. And I just absolutely did not believe that we have angels here on earth. Now, I know it says in the Bible that we do, but I didn't believe it. I just thought, oh, that's malarkey. I really, really did not believe that there were angels here on earth. I'm looking forward always to, to seeing the angels in heaven. But as far as I'm concerned, that's where they are. Well, to see this, I'm telling you, it was so <laughs> just brought my faith and my scope of, you know, of, I saw them, they're there. <laughs> you know, if I hadn't believed it before, or, you know, as I say, anybody talked about, no, oh, the angels saved me or whatever, I just thought, oh, that is malarkey. I didn't say to them, of course, but that's what I really felt. I'll see them when I get to heaven, but I won't see them here. But to think that I didn't think there were angels here on earth, it, it <laughs> blows my mind because if I, you know, if I was one of these people that everything, so oh, an angel was there, or an angel was sitting beside me, or an angel was on my shoulder, or angels was whatever, I'd just think, oh, yeah, sure, Mark, I'll wait until I get to heaven to see mine. <laughs> then, man. <laughs> Oh, that, that was, that was just so much. Yeah, I, I'm quite sure I can capture it on canvas. I hope I can. Be lovely. But, I can't wait to see you, Irene. But I just, these angels, just, and all these dark haired people all over against every angel and every, an angel behind every one of them.